Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome. Uh, this video is going to be fairly short. Uh, it's only, uh, what do I got? Wednesday and Thursday's mail. Uh, today's hasn't come yet. I don't know about you, but when you get used to a certain mail carrier, you expect that mail carrier to stay, I guess. Well, they switched mine. And the new guy, not as good. The old guy used to get my stuff here 10 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. The new guy, it's been late. It's been 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. One night I get 6 o'clock. So, it's anybody's guess when the mail's going to be get here. And it, I'm kind of bummed because informed delivery said I ate today. But, hey, whatever. So, we'll go through what I got and then we'll go from there. Uh, first one, got a sports card, took 12 days. Here, I'm going to show you the address. And I'll show you the address on the ones that, you know, prefer, send their, put their address on them. Uh, because I feel that, you know, that's not really a subscription. Even though I got the address originally in Star Tiger, the fact that Celebrity uh, shared the address. There he is, there in Staffing, our Georgia Bulldog. Uh, I feel that the Celebrity shared the address, so therefore, you know, I can share it without being a penalty. Uh, next one, I was from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And it took, oh, sorry. Uh, Mr. Sapp took 12 days. And this one from Cedar Rapids, seven days. And we got two, two of the same. But we're again, Marv Cook of the Patriots. Seven days for him. Next one took me 20 days. And unfortunately, she's no longer signing pictures, so I got some blank pictures. Well, not blank, but you know what I mean. And I recognize her, it's Kim Bassinger. So I got, she sent this neat little letter. Uh, for those of you who don't want to pause the video, read it. It says, due to the volume of fan mail we receive on a daily basis and Kim's busy schedule, she can no longer personally sign each piece. She has thoroughly enjoyed reading all your correspondence and so appreciates your support and loyalty throughout the years. As we feel it would truly be unfair to pick and choose which fans to respond to, we are returning the items with hopes for your understanding. Thank you for your continued support and closes a little note from Kim. Sincerely, Bernie Smellen, personal assistant. This was dated September 15, 2017. So I guess she hasn't she's been doing this for a while. Uh, then I got she got a new note card says to a great fan. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Love Kim. There you go. So 20 days for Kim Hessinger. Uh, I think I already have her in my collection. I got her years ago. But I want to get some new pictures, so I started uh, collecting pictures. Next one we have is took 17 days. Mr. Kevin Butler. I used to work with Mr. Butler, believe it or not. Uh, I worked at an event company and for many years, and one of our sales guys out of Detroit office was Kevin Butler. He handled all the auto clients. Never really met him. He came town once. Didn't get a chance to meet him, but uh, would email him back and forth. And so he, we brought him to Chicago to sign for a special uh, event we had. So, in or so for the company paying him, we also paid him extra for doing that. So who knows? Now, next one I got was a stunt woman. She was in Wayne's World. She was in, uh, oh, my mind went blank. She was in several different films early on, a little bit of acting part. Uh, Lisa Christensen. She took 25 days for this one to get back to me. She, you can see she signed on the back. 
The story is I sent these to an original address that they had in Star Tiger and got it back, return to sender. There's the other one. And so it was a little bombed when searched for her on the internet myself and found her, found her website, sent her uh, to the info at request saying, do you have an address? I send them, send you an autograph request too. And she gave me an address in Portland. I'll give you a hint. Um, so I sent off the request, and like I said, I sent my questionnaire along with pictures. Well, she sent pictures with a little signature. I got a big envelope back. I was like, I didn't know what it was. Um, but she sent me her book. Uh, GIMP 2.0, Surviving Your Survival. Now, I didn't know what this meant until I read the back. Uh, it turns out in 2001, she was injured uh, while being a stunt person, and she had brain damage. Unfortunately, she suffered. Uh, she put, I had life-altering injury, burns, and, bra and brain damage. So she sent me to her book, which is very nice for her. She says, hey, Brian, my career was cut short by injury. The GIMP answers your all your queries. And she signed it to me. So it was nice to send the book. I have a lot of celebrities that, that will send. Um, they send you usually a letter saying, hey, all these questions are answered in my biography. Go buy it. My memoirs, go buy it. But she actually sent it to me. And she actually also sent me this, which is... Uh, from the Portland Burn Survivors nonprofit to help burn survivors, it's a book of art, and it's done by the uh, burn survivors. And of course, I can't find hers right now. I opened it before; I opened right to it. But anyway, sure, her artwork is in there. So that was a very nice reply. It was uh, another reply I got recently. I before I started making videos again, was Loretta Long of Sesame Street. She sent me her book, her memoirs. So it's nice when you get a book like that. It's a little extra that you don't expect. But so I we will show you today's, next week when I get here. Um, I got something to do this afternoon, so I can't make a video much later. So I went ahead and did a video now. But anyway, that's my collection. Uh, as you can see, you know, I told you in the first video, I collect George Bulldogs, Chicago White Sox, notes, but I collect everybody. I collect everything. I'm going to have, I'm saying a bunch of politics, uh, no no pol political discussions, uh, but I've got to send all the new senators, new representatives, send those out, uh, any new governors, try to get some governors I haven't gotten. Uh, if you do politics, if you're if you're new to politics, let me just give you a word of advice. Uh, most of them are auto penned, which if you've done autographs through the mail for any length of time, you know what an auto pen is. But basically, it's a machine that signs for them, looks like their their autograph. Uh, but most politicians are auto auto penned. Uh, some you have luck sending to their home district uh, for instance senators and representatives and those sorts if you send something to their home district eh, you got a better chance about a 60 percent chance they'll sign for real um, otherwise they'll just send you their their stock photo with an open signature but I've had fairly good luck getting them in person uh, not in person in their home district so I'll try that for coming up. And also, I'm a big auto racing fan, so auto racing season starting, so I could get all my, I send out a request beginning of the year to all the racers. Uh, I do NASCAR, I do the Xfinity Series, which is like the sing, triple, uh, double A of NASCAR, if you watch it. And I do the Truck Series. So that's about 40 to 50 drivers per series. So that, that 
I'll, you'll be seeing a bunch of those come probably March because usually after Daytona in February, they go back to their offices, their garages, and then they get bit with the signing. So get a lot of those in March, April. You'll see a lot of those. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you for your comments. Let me know any comments you have, uh, any questions. Be glad to answer them. In the meantime, have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday.